My next guest represents whistleblower Mark Thompson. Thompson, whose job at the State Department is to respond to terrorist threats, testifying he was never asked to take part in meetings about the Benghazi attacks. Democrats trying to poke holes in those claims. Joe DeGeneva is attorney, uh, Thompson's attorney. Sir, your client claims he was the target of threats and intimidation. By whom? Well, actually, um, what, what, he actually hasn't said that. Um, what, what he said was is that he was kept out of meetings when he was the key person for providing the support to get on the ground support personnel to coordinate the activities of the FBI, military, and intelligence people. The most important thing about his testimony was he was excluded from meetings. He was never consulted when his uh, tactical operation and strategic operation was refused admittance on the ground. He was never told why it was done. He was only told that the seventh floor, the White House, and the National Security Council had decided that they were not going to deploy this vital team which has been deployed at every embassy bombing since the 1990s. Some Democrats are saying, hold on a second, there was nothing new, no big <laughs> deal in those... In those. I, I just want to, Joe, just for a second, I want you to listen to Eleanor Holmes Norton on that subject. Right. Almost a full week's buildup. For a while there, I thought they would have trailers before we got there. And then, what, what's the big deal here? I, I, I dare anybody who covered the, that hearing to tell me what new he heard. Okay, well, spell it out for me. What is well, new? Uh, Why is it a big deal? Uh, well, it, it, I'm, I'm afraid that Ms. Norton must have been asleep during the hearing, and, and that happens quite frequently on the Democratic side. Uh, actually, this was the first time, she may not have realized it, even though she's been at the other hearings, this was the first time that people who were actually on the ground at work that night testified, with, with the exception of Mr. Nordstrom, who had testified before. Uh, and the, the chief of mission, uh, Mr. Hicks, my client, Mr. Thompson, were actually on duty that night. Mr. Hicks was on the ground in Benghazi. He became the acting ambassador when Ambassador Stevens was murdered. My, my client was in the uh, counterterrorism facility at the, at the Department of State. The, the committee had never heard from them before, and they t revealed all sorts of new facts about uh, how information was not shared, about how the military stand down. Uh, they learned about it, uh, shocked by the fact that the military was not deployed. Uh, yesterday's hearing, which lasted almost eight hours, revealed an entire sheath of new on-the-ground information that people had never heard before. Now, Speaker Boehner is now involved. He is the Speaker of the House. Does that up the ante? And what is likely to be, what is possibly in these emails that he now wants released? Well, what's in the emails is all of the communication that went on between the White House and the State Department about ha how to handle this, how to talk about it, how to play it publicly, and how to protect the White House and the State Department from criticism that they had not protected the embassy. Uh, it is now clear that the, the, excuse me, the consulate and the annex were never sufficiently protected. People did not have to die. Uh, they did die that night for Americans. And that's another thing, the smarminess of Ms. Norton and her comments about the hearings. She acts as if nobody died that night. Uh, she insulted the families of the victims who were there that day, yesterday, and I think she should be ashamed of herself. Just to be clear, your client was not threatened or intimidated. That is clear. No, he so. was, he, he, uh, let me tell you something. He's an ex-Marine. Okay. And even though, even though they made his life miserable after that night, he didn't feel intimidated because as a Marine, he never does. Joe DeGeneva, thanks for joining us, sir. Former Vice President Dick Cheney on Capitol Hill today.